All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Get down there! Everybody pays attention. No one gets hurt. Finally! Don't do any crap! Hands behind your back! Come on, mister. We're giving you everything you want. Don't even think about it. Oh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. Depends on how you look at it. Hey, what took you so long? Shut the fuck up and drive! Woo! Not always a good citizen. He did not die a hero's death. But he was a man. You're born of sin, and we die in sin. And in this, Michael, is like anybody else. The same time next week? Whatever you say, Doc. You always was old choosy, motherfucker. Oh, you ballin' hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. Hit me on the speakerphone. I'm moving. Oh, it's like that, nigga? Racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, fool? Who you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean... But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments, huh? Just go and get it. The house is on, um, uh, Hampstead, uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh?
It's just because you have a massive gaper, bitch. Fucking homo, you're dead. Dead! He said I had a massive... Jimmy called me a bitch! Oh my God, seriously? My brother is such a homo. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Hey, you. Call me later. Hey, Simeon. I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Huh? Well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Yateri. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Oh. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Damn! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Sammy, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. Bottom yeah. feeder! You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'll tell you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. Ah, <laughs> he agreed to financing. I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here. What do you want? Man, I come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that? I'll tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. What? The yacht's been stolen? Oh! There! There, there it is! That's my boat! Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man! Yeah, well, we'll catch him. Hey, what we about to do? I'm gonna get you close, and you're gonna go board that thing. All right, man, shit. Fuck it, let's do this. Fuck what? Shit! Fuck this! Get your ass out of here! Not the engine! Shit! The fucking engine! You got four lanes to throw guys at! Okay, now go find Jimmy! Jimmy! 
Take what's in my pocket, a couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? Yeah, it should be cool. Good. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man, and drop it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today, I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? Show, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Man! Tracy! Yo! Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house! Fuck you, Michael. Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! No, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop the session. I promise. You are dead, man. Oh. Fuck. Dead! Come here! Ah! Fuck, man. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <laughs> Bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just go kill him! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro! Well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down! Oh, I hope it is, bud! We hooked up, man! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Man, I think that shit's coming down, man. Push the pedal, huh? Oh, fuck! Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Kidding me? Yeah, can you do something? I'll try, man. Try. Oh, shit! Fuck, man, these assholes are me! How much distance we got between us? Hey, let's go. Let's leave them behind. All right, we managed to lose them? I think you slipped them, man. All right, let's go back home. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, shit, I think we're about to find out. You know who I am? No. Oh, you? You? 
Man, Mr. Madrazo. No. Michael. Got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Oh, nice. The thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. Hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Hello? Oh! Ah! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, no, no. Whoa! Okay, listen. <laughs> What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier, but I gotta make a big take. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? Well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that... Is your domain, my friend. Now we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, 
Pay attention to the information he gives you and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue because everything's going to go just fine. The, um, the uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Get in! All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. There you go. That was it. They going out. Love her. Well, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... I told them to fix that goddamn AC! What's going on? Go. I'm on it, I'm on it. Not a lot of time left. Don't show for the last time. Move it. Now get the fuck out of my face. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. It's go time. You still rubbing. Stick to me, people. Here we go. Hey, ain't the driver meant to be telling us where to go? No. Oh. G crashed this bike, man. That's what happens when you're working with fools. I don't know where to go. You gotta hold on. You know you've been employed as a driver. Man, you're supposed to know where you're going. Hold on. Just hold on. Screw it. We go this way. I hope you're right. for a better gunman. What happened to his part of the score? I managed to pick it up. All right then, good work. F, come on, get in. Lester's around the corner at the lockup. All right, people, we need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin, I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. Oh, 
Whoa! Hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Nothing. Really? When criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. Make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Trevor! I'm talking to you, motherfucker! Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy, all right? Let's, let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Give me a hug, yeah. Shh. You fucking shit! Cut! 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 Get up! Get up! Fuck you, then! Wait! Fuck! Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just ten minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you mess him with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party of the left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. We scared him, didn't we? Ah, got him! Yeah, didn't see that coming. Watch the entrance, boys. No one leaves without my express permission. Wade? What are you still doing here? You said... I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? And get me some sticky bombs! Trevor! Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Soggy friend, you are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. This is happening. We was always cool. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, that feels better. I guess he don't run nothing no more. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying. I know, I know. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! This is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikhail. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Uh, mm. Oh, oh, very... oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Oh. 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 Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! Hand it! Bony! French! Fucking Yogi! Watch out for the cat on the lock! Cousin Floyd! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere. Here, he's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. Yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk or you're staring miserably at the clouds or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is. What part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again? Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is.
demons. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, yeah. hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. 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 Hmm. Nah, I'm go fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah, there you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? She's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skill show. She loves it. You guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ. She's a horrible dancer. Michael. Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What? Now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go. We go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you going to stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. Come on, Sir, you dipshit. Did you, did you ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music! Ah! Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that out. Stuff a 20 in this. <laughs> Fucking do something about this. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, 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 hey I got security! Security! No, What'd you fucking oh, say? Come on! Big guy. Oh, come on! Right there. No. Come, on. No. Fuck. No. come here, you little shit! They took our ride, we take their truck. There! We take the truck! What was I thinking, buying a hybrid? For my image? What a piece of shit! I told those asshats we needed more security! Stupid foreign piece of shit! They wouldn't kill a celebrity, would they? It's not legal! Don't die away now, my sexy little environmentally friendly geisha car! Or speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Are you 
took a right. Ah, ah, let's go down into the LS River. We'll get him. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, all right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. Come on! Oh, oh! Please don't kill me, okay? Uh -oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week! All right, all right, please, come no, on, get no. off! Take off, go, now, before I change my mind! Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy! The world's gonna see your shit! <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> Come on, I want to go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. <coughs> Yo, oh, brother man. What's, <laughs> man. What's up? What's up, man? Doing? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's your old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jimmy, just just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine, give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? Hi there. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. I gotta pull over. Oh, who is in it? It's harmless. That's been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. You from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. Oh, all right. You're too crazy, Dad. Jimmy! Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! Tracy, baby, you called? Look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I know. 
don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. My wife's left me. My kids, too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know what I mean? One minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This barn and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. And to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Now run along kids. See, there you go, Dave. This ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. 
real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, I, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit! <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. All right, let's do this thing. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel when this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. 36 flow. I got you. Don't harm the asset. Hey, get us out Slow down. Come on, man. Wait. Country. A 
more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, or to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, huh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. Hanging out with old man, ignoring your home. Acting all superior? Your mama would turn over in a grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where's Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass. Shut sister. the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Here, darling. Why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> this, this is seven dollars. I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy, the boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> come on, Who is this man? Fool, man? What is this man, just come on. This the homie house right here. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me, give me the, give me the brick! Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. We got to get off Wall Street. God damn, man, you fucked up. You got to walk. Punch it, motherfuckers. We gonna turn this club for a homicide. You wanna snap this up, you better step it up. Ha! Back at it again. Stop it, dick. Stop it, homie. Put your weapons down and get on the floor. Down to the river, come on. Damn, MC Clip! That's the fastest shoot! MC Clip! Clip! Wait right there, dawg! Hold up, hold up! Peace, peace! And jack their ass, homie! That's our way up out of here! Get the C-Shark! 
hands in the air. Ah! You being deprived of these bits, bitch. Damn. What the fuck are you doing? I'm about to get whooped, homie. Break these motherfuckers. And keep our hands down. That shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. Just said the same fucking thing to my wife. See his face that last time I popped him. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep out of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. I don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing, nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. No? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are told... gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, no, no. Because no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. Get the money ran out. This is bullshit. This place, Davy. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? You gotta be a sick fuck to want to be a dentist. No, 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 no! Not the flyers! I just have them lasers! <laughs> 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 Best way to make a man.
man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What didn't you ask me? I know it's out here. I did his home theater. <laughs> he lives in Chumash. The right on the Western Highway. But that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash. You're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't this a small one? Watch the knee. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped. The second thing That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This stop. guy we're after. What does he look like? I was built. I was high. Middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. Let's keep it objective, okay? What's in the scope? When I need analysis, I'll call a pundit. There's a party, all right? I'm gonna level with you. Nah, this'll hurt. You going to kill me? Or you will kill me? Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 He's got fear. He's got fear. He's got fear. Uh huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. No. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's giving us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It'll be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he's, he's, he's got beard. He spoke. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This'll put hair on your chest. Take another two, please. Or you will kill me. My heart. Wow. He's done. All right. Yeah, he went and pissed himself. <laughs> Well, that's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. I'm taking a shot of this after him. The light. Let me go through it. <laughs> Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left-handed. What's that? He chain smokes. 
I just love Honda. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball uh, game to get uh, to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. I mean, you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Better get those lessons. Someone's taking the sub! I'm here. Oh, you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Drive it under there.
You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. I told you that. Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're going to use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money. For us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Tow truck is at the lot. That's the garbage truck. Hey, what's cracking? What's here? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Okay. So, listen up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hole for home. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down, okay? When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? 
She a true professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Hmm. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. All right, Mike. Move it. Get moving, M. Block both lanes of traffic. Just stop the truck and keep it stationary. I'm stopped. You're on, F. Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. You better brace yourselves, you motherfuckers! The cops will be swarming here in 10 seconds. You better run. Shut the fuck up. Come on. Good to go. You hear all them sirens, dog? Looks like they hit their panic button. Half the LSPD incoming. Up here watching over you, boys. Well, one of you more than the other. Hold your nerve. Put these guys down. Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. 
I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. What the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd, all right? Now, Floyd's got... Not the fuck! Get out of here, all right? Now, Floyd here works at the port. He puts me onto Meriwether Security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Mm, let's get going, all right? Let's take our slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks. And here's my summer Floyd, wait! Stand by the hangar. I guess this is our chopper. I think the time for backing out passed. so far. 
Essentially, it's like a fusion reactor running on seawater. Like nuclear? Yeah, the good kind of nuclear. And is this what your bar was after? Yeah, well, for sure. No, we'll be paid, Frankie. We will be well paid. Go, King. We're waiting on you. All right, we're on top. Now let's go back to Sandy Shores. Push the stick, Michael. We gotta move. Because I found this thing using an app on my phone, which means the private army guardian can find it pretty easy, too. Ah, oh, you gotta be joking me. And here they are. Merryweather boats coming at speed. Frank, take one of those guns and see what you can do about our tail. See you too. What's it been? Huh? Ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese! Damn, T. This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did! Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You know, drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper! Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey! We need a score! Remember! Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello? Me too! What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits! Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop! Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey! You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie.
I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does hey, 2.7? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. We got a gap right up behind us. car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Fucking Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit! Get the fuck out of here! Go on! Speak. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, just spoke to Devin's man-woman lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool! Hey, Frank. Yeah? What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we been through, man, you got me right back where I be at anyway. <laughs> Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh god, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I am so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. 
We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, then, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go!
Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink with you. Quickly! Good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. This is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. <sighs> but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. And he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man was a pay. <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! I got her. Southwest of the city. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead.
Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. No, oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. happened? Why did he have his car? Man, a piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Turn. don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia. She already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. Movie star, where is my movie star? Anyone know who this guy is? Is this the new stunt guy? I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. Stop, Stop you idiot! Stop right there! Get that guy Stop out of here! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's not signed off. Step out of that car! Ah. Step out of the car! Oh, Look out the way! I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drama. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know, movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Oh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. 
Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit. But you're the brains, am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Yeah, man, your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> ah, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition mm. it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come hey, in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! Ah. <sighs> Light aircraft, identify yourself and state your intent. Me? I'm just a lonely guy out dusting this crop. Who are you? Don't identify aircraft. Divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. You're firing rockets at a crop duster? What's wrong with you? I'm flying here! Fox 2. Eagle 2, Fox 2. They 
starting to shoot and I'm failing. Want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now see the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life? and you feel guilty about it, doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit. That's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah. You've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> You've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man! You were something! But now, man, you know, you're like this the place, you're a shell! Go fuck yourself! Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero! So far above it all! Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart! Rip it open! <laughs> see what's there, baby, because I'm ready! Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one. Nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. 
But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. My car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. I mean, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. We ran have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Police scanner and drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy.
It's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. It, first you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's she's a 60-year-old housewife. Ow, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss oh. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, you rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Y'all ready? Let's go! If we're gonna hit it, let's hit it. This won't take a minute. Get down on the floor! Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now! You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. Shut up, or the next one's for you! Down! Have to meet this alarm guy? Fucking shoot him. Hmm, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! <laughs> Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. Sheriff's here. Move in! Follow procedure! You know he's surrounding, so he ain't getting a ride to the airport. I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. Let's go inside the group. Here we go. 
I'm a friendly, Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, home. Hi. Keep up. Serious. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be fucking good! Like a mirage in the desert, here's my train. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. getting changed? What if? What have you turned into? Oh, oh, come on, come on! Conductor on this train? You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, all of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Recovery teams arrived! Downriver! Vemino! His and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. I... It's 
Perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Nah. Right. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all oh, right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh, all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh, you know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us. Please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, 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 oh hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie! I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die, fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on! Come on, mister! Leisure wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting this straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, 
Been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Out, out, out! Easy now, easy now. Please, don't! You got clearance? Give it up! Please don't hurt me! Give up your access card! <laughs> They're down! Let's go! This'll make me... The most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Um, Protect the cargo! Move! Put the agent on ice. Refrigeration units in that container. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell by. <sighs> okay. Steady. Ah, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. The flying pig rig. We missed the window. Agency response team's already in the building. It's never too late. We're going! Let's go! It's too risky, Bandito! That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it! You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay! All right, yeah, uh, you go, I'll stay in cover! Fuck it, fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them! Come on! Let's go! Me, special agent, I got this covered. Detain this man. Fuck you, I should detain you. I just took a bullet for my country. Hey, Frank. It's cracking, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davey? There never is. I'm doing my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, huh? you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you can take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> 
Take it easy. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! The otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of no, sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. Hey, it's, it's a standard bank. It's getting do, underground. That's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. 
You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job, and then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? It comes out in the light. Oh, give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there! <sighs> this is it. Moment of truth. No. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, 
I mourned you, and I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Joe Phillips! Mr. Joe has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Oh! Oh, shit! Ah, you Joe want a boyfriend, huh? You're screwed! Give it up! You started this! More vans, of course. Oh, you forgot to check the train schedule! <laughs> Trevor. Fuck! Come on, I do You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. over at the usual place. That's teamwork, motherfuckers! Boss man's happy! Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your Stop. ass in the truck. Let's go. Oh, this shit. What's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. My time is on the ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB700 to get rid of to the truck stop at Procopio. Procopio it is! Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's... obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost car and pop motherfuckers. We are women, we have no doubt. We are women, we are free. We are Shut women. the we are fuck free. up! Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? <laughs> What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. 
What a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Really? Man. Oh, no. What, oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I, I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. Nah! Nah! <laughs> right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha! Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny! I'm a fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just, I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have. Look, look, fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael. I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to coin every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips isn't oh. coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! You're looking for someone? What do you want? Hey, you holding my friend against his will! Time to release this dude! Michael! You want to get hard, homie? Turns out they really want Trevor dead. So figure. You want to get out of here? Come on, come on, let's go. This is my rescue mission, dog. We going. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you. Why we stop? All right, then I'll see you. Show. Sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? 
dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the Fed, Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right. Look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look, you watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Listen, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael. You'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. That's the one. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. I'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Yeah. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Ah, uh, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan Dimebags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, 
things. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay, so lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint! Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Excuse me, I'm trying to write a screenplay. Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael? Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This too, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? What? what are you doing? Ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. 
Someone's shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. Uh, All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you gotta do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So... You'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa! whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here? You... Ah, you... Fucking prick! Jesus! Ah. Ah. Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah. Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Ah. Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Ah. Let's do. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah. Ah. There we go. Oh. Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Too oh, nice fast. Oh, oh, oh. ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop, Ben. You know, if you catch my drift. Oh. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown, I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Uh, yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really Fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you. Complaining on the way to the fucking bank! I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No oh, way. We'll both get a center. Before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. 
great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site. Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So? What's it gonna be? Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up.
There you go. Painkillers or that hallucinatory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. Removable drive and the server stack on the far wall. I got the drive. Let's go. We got off. Follow me. It's coming down. Look. Oh, people. Oh. Lester's. <laughs> Woo. Well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! Ah! Ah! Fucking A right, we did it! Ah! Ow. How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility? It was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here. Give me oh, some of that. Hey, ow, ah, ow, ow, ow. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. We've got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're going to be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just going to get drunk as a skull. Gunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm Ooh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> Man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy. You could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! 
Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the guns down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Come on, it's over here! This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. Do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Stay safe, D! Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate! Not here! Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What well, help me? What do you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history, but history nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah.
Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. <sighs> look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. Hey, 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 hey. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now, me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said, bite me. Man, I said, shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh, shit, there he go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't wanna be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if you had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean, Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Car. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dog? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Boo! What's up, playa? Hello, Franklin. 
Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. See, Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Oh, fuck. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Lost an ass, nigga. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin. The hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! The shots, please calm down. We're here to escort you to the hangar. The Devon Weston hangar was back there on your left. Oh! Shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. We did it. Solomon. We 
Fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, Fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh, oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Huh? Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? <laughs> Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> You twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! What's happening? Where's Mom? Come on, the girls might be in trouble at the house. All right, okay, they'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. Be careful, Dad. Daddy's home, you, you ass prick. Thing, you ah! Ah! One of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girl. Mom, Dad! Fucking hell! Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Back, back! I told you to fuck off! I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. Go to hell! Drop it, prick! Shells over! Jesus! We got this, folks! Chase him! Got you, dick. Oh, uh, oh, it's be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get the oh. fuck off me. Oh. I, I thought I was oh. on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't sure on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Yeah, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why, cause I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name. Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. 
Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all right, me! Enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can, you're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. It's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. The third gondola's there. It had work done and everything. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. And we'll meet at the strip club. Hey! Show's for paying customers only. Okay, okay, here. Get dressed. 
All right. Hurry up. Get changed, all right? This is the biggest day of your sorry little life. Hey, man. So we really doing this shit? Frank, come on. Next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state-of-the-art. Cute. Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. All right, the trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. There's no need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. The stinger. Okay, now keep driving. <laughs> Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Let's go! Oh, shit. Move your ass! You do not want to die for this shit! Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Your move, buddy. No, 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 no! Get a fucking move on! Come on, move! Hurry up! Just hold on! Hey! Please, you get these please, ready! Please, please. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, we got a one-minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter come in! Who no, no, you no. like? This one. No. Oh, shit. Hey, please, whatever you do. Yeah, need. no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go! Go, Shoot go, it. go! Get in! Let's go! Let's go. Come on! Let's go! Move! Your welfare! Quit whimpering. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Gets me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Big plant 22 in sight. Stand by. They're here. Don't do anything stupid. Go, pal. Authorization? Good. Good? Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Hey, so, you know what to do? Uh-huh. Come on. Okay. Gentlemen? Oh, a hey. hey, job to do. Absolutely. Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. <laughs> That's good stuff. Uh, hey, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule. Get yeah! Right. Yeah. Oh! Got many jobs after this? No, this last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, well, your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! All right, come on, let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. 
That's it. Let's go. Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe come I on, could just, Casey, you know. Suck it up. You can't handle the hangover, Case. Do not overindulge. Cargo is gone. Makeup was good. How's it looking up there? Not good, man. Mary with her know we took the UD. They out there looking for you. Fuck. You got a solution for this problem? We tapped into the traffic light system. I'll try to keep them away from you. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, okay, okay. The link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this shit seem easy enough. Okay, we in. So, this connection is like laggy as hell. There's gonna be a delay on your switches. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, finally, we got it. Hey, on the east side, man, heavies, watch out. We gotta head east at this junction. Okay, both of you, go left. Oh shit, more mercs coming from the northwest. Green light ahead. Oh shit, look out. More Merryweather's coming from the north. Yeah, you nearly out of this shit. This one's clear. Hustle up! You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the metal. Damn right, all without firing a bullet. Oh, don't forget oh, our dude. chase here, uh. huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please don't. No, wait. Biggest score of our lives, we ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. Gee. Well, no, it ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing is your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old flaccid boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking A! Yeah! Oh, hey, man! Fuck! Work first, bicker later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Merryweather! Those mercenary motherfuckers! Right. You, keep loading. We'll deal with this. We deal with the marks, we get out! Hey, they ain't getting the score! Ain't just no good when you're dead, you ass! Ah, it was going so sweet! Fucking mercenaries! We punch through, we get clear! Come on! What the? It's only something! I think that's it! That's the last of them! So much for the bulletless revolution! Man, we always get fucked with. You! Hold the perimeter. Everyone else, in your cars. We leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags of bulging? Huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You wanna try? Be my guest. All right! Lead the way. Calling all units. Merryweather PMC report. Union depository suspect seen leaving the Benelli Unicorn parking lot for muscle cars. Suspect doing 50 miles per hour. Benelli um, Unicorn.
We're in pursuit. Roger. Hey, we can't even afford a fucking driver to keep the truck going straight. I don't see the vehicle. Okay, seal the tunnel and get a ground team in there. Stat. Those guys will take care of the metal. Lester's meeting us at my place. Woo! Gentlemen! Uh, Lester, we have just made history. Uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that uh, it's going to be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah. Now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out? and realize what's done is done. Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. That's his fucking fault. Fuck, fuck, fuck you. you, man. Hey, 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 hey. God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags. What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel. And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots. Hey, leave Lester alone. Oh, oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. You all are assholes. Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, I'm sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. Hey, Slick, it's me. <laughs> What the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck! What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Dang. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, 
Then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. Look, man, Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if we just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me. You're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Near the building. Watch your stacker. Chief, oh, we gotta wait. someone to kill us or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again huh bite me and anybody getting turned again and you know it hey man the way i see it we only just begun to clean this shit up we got a lot of old friends i think need to be re-educated a lot of friends i mean things could get really messy no we just gotta silence a few noisy people <laughs> hell yo let me see there's uh steve haynes dave norton no we need him alive why so nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey, it's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're going to be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, 
stretch has been a liability. But they were gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Did oh, Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut that! Oh! I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Got it. That was strong. That was good. That was really strong. Yeah, I liked it. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go home. Oh my god! Guy! That's his name, he shot him! Jesus hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no my ass coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? RD, disrespectful ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Only pair of bitches that stretch tolerate are the ones that work this pole last year. Ah! Ah! Clap six, man, get him! Oh, oh, oh. I'm clear. Your pal, Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Time to meet your maker! Come sit! I'm a walking combat situation, assholes! Don't let him! We got him! Let's earn our paychecks! Protect DW! Wait, wait, hear me out! No more talking!
Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.